Well, we're here in the oldest parliament in the country. Uh, the New South Wales Parliament uh, came into being in 1856 when William Charles Wentworth successfully uh, campaigned for this colony to have self-government. Over the more than 225 years that uh, this parliament has been serving the people of New South Wales, it has undergone extraordinary change. This chamber is where we saw the act introduced to build the Sydney Harbour Bridge. This is where we saw the convict trade ended. It's where we saw the right for women to be able to vote and public education introduced. Uh, this has been a parliament that has seen enormous historic change, but not least of which for people with disabilities. I'm Gareth Ward, the Minister for Families, Communities and Disability Services in New South Wales. It's all good and well to have a plan, but what are they actually doing about it? Yeah. I'm the first Minister for Disabilities in New South Wales to have a disability. Uh, when I was born I was diagnosed with ocular cutaneous albinism, uh, which meant that I was legally blind since birth. When I was born the doctors told my parents that they'll have to keep him in the dark and behind closed doors. Now, uh, that's not advice that I've necessarily taken and in fact uh, I want uh, my time in politics to be an example to others as to what they can actually achieve. We've seen a very progressive movement, one that cares and wants to achieve uh, our full potential for people with disabilities. We live in a state where we don't want to see government raise the floor but remove the roof and encourage everyone to achieve their full potential. Back in the late 90s, uh, we saw a campaign for a movement away from states delivering uh, the services that people receive who have disabilities in this state. Uh, we saw a campaign for a partnership between our federal government and the state government, working together to get better outcomes for people with disabilities. Uh, today, uh, we now have the National Disability Insurance Scheme, a scheme that provides around 500,000 Australians with supports. Here in New South Wales, we see around 120,000 people supported. This is 40,000 more than used to receive supports uh, from the state-sponsored schemes that used to be in place for many years. Uh, what the National Disability Insurance Scheme does is provide choice and control to people that are participants in the scheme. It looks at what's reasonable and necessary for people to live lives to their fullest. And it also has components like the information linkages and capacity building, which is about connecting people that are outside of the scheme with the mainstream services and supports so that people don't need to come inside of the NDIS. The NDIS offers supports from everything to uh, the sorts of in-home supports that are required right through uh, to uh, changes that have resulted in uh, people being able to leave things like our hospitals with uh, complex care pathways. Here in New South Wales, we were able to introduce a historic reform. In fact, the first bill that I introduced as the Disabilities Minister uh, was the Age and Disability Commissioner, designed to guard against the abuse neglect and exploitation of people with disabilities. Uh, Robert Fitzgerald, who was our commissioner, has a big job ahead of him. His job is to look for uh, issues that have arisen from the care and the home arrangements that uh, require supports, advocacy and assistance. His job is also to educate the public about people with disabilities and provide the government with feedback and recommendations on how we can better support people with disabilities. In 2014, we saw the introduction of the Disability Inclusion Act and what that meant is that all of our government departments and our councils need to have disability inclusion action plans. How do we better involve people with disabilities, but not just involve people, how do we enable and empower people? How do we make sure that we have an inclusive society, one uh, where everyone can play an active part and make a real contribution in life? Uh, these plans and this Act is uh, currently up for review and in the post-NDIS world, what role do state governments play in enabling and empowering people with disabilities? Here in New South Wales, we have a disability employment target of 5.6% across the public service. We want to enable people to be able to work as part of government agencies and uh, the state that uh, wants to see people achieve their full potential. We also want to send a strong message to business. It's not good enough for uh, governments to make pronouncements and say things without actually showing leadership themselves. Uh, my appointment as the state's disabilities minister is uh, evidence that our premier in this state wants to lead by example and I certainly feel that burden perhaps heavier than most knowing uh, that I've uh, walked a path to this place that many thought may not have been possible for people with disabilities. The greatest thing about disabilities in this state is that it has been a bipartisan approach from all sides of politics. Uh, we have many different parties that sit in this chamber, but every single person that comes through this door uh, puts politics aside when it comes to 
people with disabilities. I think that the view, not just in this state, but in this country, is one of uh, disability policy not being about doing the Liberal thing, the Labor thing, the Green thing, but about doing the right thing. I'm Liesl Tesh. I'm in my second term as a member for Gosford, a fantastic coastal town north of Sydney. I've come into the New South Wales Parliament from a background in teaching and also as a seven-time Paralympian who has also worked in aid and development, supporting people with disabilities to empower communities and lives using sport as a tool for social change. Coming into the Parliament as the first wheelchair user in New South Wales was something that I never expected to do and it's also something that I'm incredibly proud of and it's great to be in here with Gareth Ward, two members of the New South Wales Parliament with lived experience of disability, I think definitely adds a voice to this place. As a wheelchair user from a broader community, I think the voice of the advocacy agencies and the groups that we have contact with from our previous lives and bringing that voice into the parliament is really important as far as policy development and also criticism of what's going on with the government. That's a fair, fair voice to be having in the parliament. As a wheelchair user in the oldest parliament also, the challenge of inclusion and access just with the physical building has been a significant challenge. I think we've got work to do around the world Finally, we're getting some access to the back of the parliament three years in. So it's about chipping away and it's about giving the people who are in the New South Wales parliament, our colleagues, an understanding of the frustrations that people with disabilities face in getting through, continuing to get through their everyday lives. It's fantastic to be in here during the introduction of the NDIS and seeing a labour-based policy, but now a huge bipartisan success policy being rolled out across Australia that really is working to empower lives of people with disabilities.